Welcome to Dear Cypher Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is mistrust in a new relationship. Trust is the foundation of any relationship if you want to sustain longevity. It is so important to have that because if it gets tarnished at all, but especially in the early stages, it's never going to feel like a healthy, safe place for you to be, and it's going to be very off kilter. You want to always have balance in your partnership where you feel safe. You feel like you trust them, that you don't have to keep looking b b between the lines is what they're saying and what they're doing. If you don't have this in the very early stages, it's really difficult to make it progress into a better place. This is not okay to put yourself in this place. Listen to your instincts. Listen to those spidey senses. When you first meet somebody, do you feel there's something off? Do you feel that they're not being truly honest with what they're projecting or what they're saying to you at all? Listen to that. There's a reason you're feeling it. And it could be something maybe from your own past that's coming in. Maybe you don't trust a lot of people and this is just another person. You can figure that out. But if it's something that is you're feeling from them, pay close attention to it. Most people equate trust issues to infidelity, cheating, things like that. But it doesn't have to be. It can be a lot of other things. It can just be that when they say something to you, you don't feel sincerity behind the comment. And so it makes you question, okay, what's going on here? Why are they talking to me like that? I'm picking up on something that isn't real. I'm picking up on a bit of a, a white lie here. And you need to be really aware and listen to any comments that are fluttering through your mind when you're meeting somebody. Because you can save yourself a lot of drama, a lot of heartache, if you hear what somebody is actually saying or what they're not saying. There's a lot of couples who find out later on in life that their partner has chronic gambling issues or maybe they've got credit card debt up to their eyeballs. And then when this happens and rears its ugly head in your partnership, that trust that you had with them is now hugely destroyed because you don't trust anything they're going to do if they can hide that from you. This is why when people jump into relationships really quickly, I always say, be careful. Because if you get the lust and the, all the chemistry stuff happening really quickly, you overlook a lot of the really important things that go into a, a long-term relationship. Don't turn a blind eye to it just because you're attracted to somebody. But this is what happens in a lot of new partnerships. All of a sudden, there's trust issues. And the reason there are is because you didn't take the time to really get to know them. You don't know who they truly are because you've gone in, jumped in head first. And even if you didn't jump in head first and you're already in an established relationship with them and you're feeling this sort of mistrust rearing his head, I seriously ask you not to ignore it. It's very important to pay attention to anything like this because it's so important if you're going to be in a marital situation with them down the road, that you have a trust with them. One question I've been getting a lot lately, and it was to one of my videos I did a while ago where it was about finding out that your, your new partner is married or in a relationship, however you wanna look at it, that they've got somebody in their life. And this is not only lying, it is blatant lying and putting you in a position of not knowing what's going on. That's another reason you have to watch the red flags. If somebody is pretending to be single, you're not meeting their friends or family, you're not going to their home, you're just seeing them sporadically. This is not a place you want to put yourself because first of all, the, how are you going to ever trust them if they're not giving a big part of who they are to you? They're only giving you pieces of them. That's another thing to really look out for because so many people I talk to are in a relationship with somebody, they've already fallen in love and then they find out they're in another relationship. This is way more common than I like to hear about because I really want people to pay close attention to the signs when somebody is involved, somebody's lying to you. 
about where they come from, what their job is, what their, their relationship status is. It's so important that you hear the actual things coming out of someone's mouth and not what you want to hear. This is where people get themselves into trouble because they hear what they want to hear because they're so attracted to this person and everything's going so well. If you feel any mistrust at all with somebody, your instincts are probably dead on. Listen to them and act accordingly. Don't sit there and say, oh, well, I'm just imagining it or I'm being, I'm being hypercritical or whatever. No, you're probably not. You're probably right on the mark with this. It doesn't mean that you're looking for negativity with everybody that you're, you're, you're meeting, but you want to make sure that when you're with somebody that you're with them with sincerity, that what they're saying to you is true. So any, any iota of a trust issue, I really want you to look into it. Don't ignore it. You can save yourself a lot of time and energy and heartbreak if you hear what your, your gut is telling you. The one thing I, I do find too that people come into these new relationships and it goes so fast and it's so amazing and oh my god, no, this person's so authentic, they're so true to what they're saying and then all of a sudden a month goes by and they're starting to do different things and so then the mistrust comes in in that, in that place as well. So anybody can be good for a month. Anybody can be good probably for even a couple of months. Don't let that sway you. Don't fall in love so quickly. Hold back. Take time getting to know somebody so you can see the real version of who they are. There's some pretty good con artists out there. They know how to work this. And they also know how to choose people who are vulnerable or maybe dealing with a heartbreak from the past and they sense that about you. So be careful how much information, how, much, how quick you are to open up to people as well. Because you want to be able to learn to trust them and you want them to trust you. But if you give out too much information too quickly, they've got a little bit of a head start here on knowing what they can do if they do have ulterior motives. When you first meet somebody, be as honest as you can. Ask them to be honest with you. Tell them that trust is a very important thing to you, that you have high expectations when it comes to that. And watch their moves. Make sure that you're both being really open and communicative. And if there's any emotional unavailability or closed off things, you want to be very, very careful about involving yourself in a relationship with them. Ask the right questions, have fun together, and just make sure they're giving back what you're giving them. And if that's the case, and you move slowly, you can kind of have a really great relationship where the trust starts off in a really good place. Don't ignore the red flags. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments, please subscribe, and 